All right, in this video, I'm gonna go over how to create a repo. In GitLab, it's called projects, but it's pretty much the same thing. So after you make an account, you're gonna come here to your projects, and then you could hit new project. And you could have a create blank project, you could create from a template, you could import a project. So there's different options. Typically, I just make a blank project. And then when you make your blank project, you could name it something. So I'm going to call this demo. So after you do that, you could set your visibility settings. Uh, typically for me, I just put everything as private. And then you could initialize uh, readme. So you go ahead and create project. And then from here, you can see that your repo has been created. So by default, it has some readme here that you can modify. And then inside your project, you can see that there's different tabs here. Um, you have your project information, which has your activity, labels, members. So members, depending on if there's other people working on this project. In the repository section, you have files, commits, branches. And we'll go over some of these terminologies later on. And then you have issues, which we'll talk about in a later video too. We have merge requests that we'll talk about as well. CICD, we won't go too much about it in this detail, but it's for some continuous integration and deployment related work and testing as well. Uh, security and compliance, we won't talk too much about. Deployment, we won't talk about. Uh, packages, we, we also won't talk about. Pretty much all of these like CICD packages is for uh, automating certain things that's especially good for um, deploying your applications for use in the wild. Okay, and then you have infrastructure with dealing with stuff with clouds. We won't talk about that. Uh, there's like analytics, which might be helpful if you want to see what's going on. So wiki section and then settings. So settings, you could choose certain uh, permissions, visibilities. So you could look through here and see, you know, what type of settings is appropriate for your project. And then you could also have uh, different advanced related uh, topics. You could change your URL if you wanted to. And if you want to remove this project, you could go ahead and delete it here. Okay, so this is an overview of uh, creating a project. And then we'll go more into detail on how to actually uh, work with this project. So stay tuned, and if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.